Hey guys, welcome back to To Vacuum Do Us Part. We're jumping straight into today's video. So in a recent video, I kind of made over this dresser. I added a fresh coat of paint, new hardware. It was all kind of inspired by a piece I found when we were out furniture shopping, but it was 5,000. It was like 5,500 and I was not gonna spend that much money. Um, so I redid it in a video. I'll leave it linked down below, but a lot of you guys said to knock off that footboard at the bottom and add legs and it would resemble more of a TV stand than a dresser. So Chase got some ordered. I'm going to show those to you here in a second. But first I'm going to work on getting these drawers situated. In the last video I put the drawers in but they didn't go in the right spots and so some of my stuff got mixed up. So I'm going to work on getting those organized and then we're going to start working on this piece. Definitely stay until the end of today's video so you can see how it turns out. It is a huge transformation for just putting legs on the bottom of it so you'll have to see the process and how it goes I also have a lot of other like chores and home projects I need to work on so let's go ahead and get into it Okay, this time before I take the drawers out, I'm gonna snap pictures so I know where each drawer goes. So you're gonna see me right here, just kind of pull open a few drawers and take my camera and snap a few pictures. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these so we can get everything taken off and we can flip this piece over and get to work. Baby, one day I'm hoping that you will be mine. Turn my life around. Okay, so everybody that mentioned doing this said it would be so easy to take that footboard off. For us, it wasn't that easy. We had never flipped this over. I think I realized why we got it so cheap now. We got it for like $35 years ago, but it was really like rotted out. You can tell they added the footboard in later and you can see from that angle right there, like it was destroyed. It's actually like a brand new piece now. So I'm so glad we did this. We had no idea how bad of shape it was in, but we also didn't realize how how many screws were gonna be in it. So it definitely took a lot more work than what it should have. But if you just have like a normal dresser, all you'd have to do is flip it over and add feet and this would be so easy to do. You're my music, but you tear me to pieces away. Okay, Chase is gonna keep working on that. I need to work on our bathtub and I wanna thank JAWS for sponsoring today's video. JAWS stands for Just Add Water System. You guys know if you've been around here, I love JAWS. I'm showing you two products right now because they have a shower cleaner and a bathroom cleaner. So the bathroom cleaner is one of the newer ones. It's a foam cleaner. It's a lot like the shower, but now it's foam and I am in love with this stuff. So I wanted to show you the difference. Right here, you can't tell, but I'm spraying brain um, the shower cleaner so it's just like a mist like a normal cleaner you don't really see it but then I'm gonna take the foam cleaner and spray it just so you could see the difference and like the consistency of it I love foam cleaners for the bathroom so it's definitely my first choice now that they have that option but here's how it comes you when you order a set or just one however many you want to order they also have matching rags you get an empty bottle and then they send refills so they're not shipping water it's really good for shipping it's really good on the environment and then you can just store these little pods in a drawer versus like tons of extra bottles if you like to keep extra supplies on hand I keep mine in this drawer right here I'm actually gonna miss this a lot when I move it's like one of the things I'm gonna miss but then you just take your bottle and you fill it up to the water line and then you insert your refill and that is it it is so easy and fun to do 
So they make lots of different products. They have a hard wood cleaner, a granite cleaner, like I mentioned, the bathroom and the shower, all sorts of ones. They have a kitchen cleaner. They also have a disinfectant cleaner. So if you can't get your hands on that or you're not out shopping, I highly recommend it. It's a great one and I love using it. And I do have a discount code. So you can use Ashley25 at checkout and that's gonna get you 25% off your order. I seriously love Jaws so much. You're gonna see me use them anytime you're watching my video. I use them daily. They're pet friendly, eco safe, all sorts of fun things. So as you can see, I'm just using their product. I let it soak for a little bit while I went and filled up the bottle. Um, and then I'm just taking an old toothbrush and cleaning out those jets. Um, in my most recent video that I cleaned this bathtub, it's been a while. Um, I went to turn on the jets and realized they were broke. I never use this bathtub. <laughs> so now that we're selling our house, we had a plumber come out. And then we just ended up needing an electrician. It was a simple fix. Um, we just didn't know what was wrong with it. So now that's fixed and it's good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this bathtub out and let it run for about 10 minutes just so we can really clean out those jets because it's been a long time since I've been able to run them. And I just wanna make sure this is nice and clean for the next people. Thanks again to Jaws for sponsoring this part of today's video. I seriously do love their products. You can click on their link down below my description box to check all of them out. They even have a great kit so you can bundle it and save even more. And then don't forget to use Ashley 25 at checkout so you can save that 25% off. I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme. But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is before I head on to my next project or just a chore, I wanted to show you an update of how it was going with Chase. It started to become a disaster. Like I thought we were gonna be knocking off like three pieces of wood, putting the legs off and being done. So sometimes you start home projects and you think they're gonna be easy and they turn out to be hard. And then other times you tackle these really hard projects and you get going and they're like so much easier than you were expecting. So that's definitely what happened with this one, but it was still totally worth it. It, and I highly suggest you do it if you're needing a TV stand. But now I'm gonna head outside because this is after Halloween and it's time to take Mr. Pumpkin down and just any of my fall decor. So it's been so pretty here lately. Last week it was like all in the 30s and raining. I filmed that rainy, um, like motivating cleaning video and it was cold and now it's getting back warm here and we're like in the mid 70s. You can see right here we took our rug up and put it inside. It was rainy so we went ahead and moved it inside to keep it clean but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it in the garage just because everything out here is gonna stay for the new people. They asked that we leave it and it's just part of the contract so I don't want to forget the rug on moving day so I decided just to go ahead and keep it rolled up with all of our moving boxes. But now I'm gonna head inside. My latest video I was putting all my fall decor in this Christmas tub because I didn't have an extra fall tub. But then if you guys saw my Christmas shop with me, my last video, um, I went ahead and found this at home. So I'm going to go ahead and move everything over so all my fall stuff stays in orange tubs and then all my Christmas stuff stays in red and green. It just keeps it super simple and easy for when Chase gets up in the attic, he knows exactly what to grab.
Next on the list is to clean up this fan. So this fan used to be hung in Chase's office, but then we got that black spugnet fan. And we left this up there just in case the new buyers would want it if we ever sold our house. And they like the black light better. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this one up and put it in the next house in one of the bedrooms. So we're gonna have to take it by there, but I definitely wanted to get it all nice and clean before we dropped it off. It's amazing what a little vacuum can do. It did not take much work at all. I thought I was gonna actually have to use like a liquid on this, but it was just all dust. So all I did was vacuum it up and then it was good to go. Okay, I don't know if anybody else is going through soap like crazy. We've always been good hand washers in our house, but I'm doing it even more so now, especially with moving and having different people in the house. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this a bottle up. I just bought something from Target. I normally like Method and different things, but like I said, we've been going through hand soap so much. I just bought this soft soap um, and just a huge refill. So I have it on hand right now and we'll have it at the new house. Plus I just love it clear soap. You guys know me with color. I don't like a lot of it. So if I can just find a good clear soap, I'm super happy. Okay, now we're back to the dresser. So another issue we came across is the back of our dresser didn't have a board. So it was just on the front side. So Chase is having to build up the back so it's all even so then we can attach the legs. I'll show you the legs here in a second so you can visually see what I'm talking about. It probably doesn't make sense yet. Like I said, if you just have like a normal dresser, you wouldn't have to do half of these steps. It was just our luck in one of those days, but we're still so happy with how it turned out. But you can see right here, he's having to use two boards um, to get it flush with the sideboards so that here in a second, we can attach the legs. Okay, while Chase works on this, I wanted to give you just a video schedule update. Next week's gonna be a little bit different because I have a collab on Friday. So um, I won't have my normal Wednesday video. I'm considering putting up a vlog that day over on Ashley and Chase vlog. So if you're not following us over there, definitely click on that link down below in the description box and make sure to hit subscribe and hit notifications just in case we post that day, you won't miss it. And then my normal Wednesday video is gonna be moved to Friday. Cause like I said, it's a collab with a group of ladies on here and it's going to be my Christmas decorate with me. And you'll also be able to click on the link and check out all their videos and just get inspired and lots of ideas for when you decorate your space for Christmas. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Definitely make sure you're subscribed and you have that bell click so you don't miss any of the notifications because a lot is going to be happening around here. I'm so impressed with just adding legs, what it can do to a piece of furniture. I totally give props to you guys. 
This never crossed my mind. I would never have thought to add legs to my dresser. It made it feel and look just like the TV stands that are in furniture stores for thousands of dollars and it was so easy to do. Um, I'll leave these at the linked in my Amazon store just in case you want to check them out but they're so affordable. It made this piece feel so much more glam and it made it more modern. So I felt like this piece was very rustic and I didn't want to take it to my new home because of that. Now I, it's not even an issue at all. I'm so excited to put this in the new house. It feels and looks brand new. And if you need a TV stand, they are so expensive. Buy a cheap <laughs> dresser off Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, paint it, add new hardware and grab these legs and you are going to be amazed. I was definitely not expecting this mess when we started this little dresser update, but that's how some projects go. We have a lot of just like crumbled up pieces of wood. I'm very worried about splinters, so I'm gonna go ahead and sweep up as much as I can, and then I'm gonna go back with a vacuum just to make sure I get all these little pieces picked up. So let's stay young and in love. We should focus on us forever. Yeah, baby. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be doing like a packing and moving video. I've been getting a lot of requests for that. So I'll do a whole video of us packing and you know, filling holes and painting. And then I'm also going to vlog or have Savannah vlog us moving. So we'll have a moving day video. Um, I also recently filmed a declutter video. I wanted to declutter this whole house before we started packing and moving. So that will actually be up in one week from today. So like I said, if you're not subscribed already and you're wanting just lots of motivation, definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, we've got lots of fun content coming your way. And not to mention once we're in the new house I'm gonna have tons of decorating videos for each space and I'd love to share that with all of you guys and I just want to thank each and every one of you guys so much who watch my videos and watch the ads and just make all of this possible for my family I am truly thankful for each and every one of you Here is the after. It's hard showing you this because like I don't have photos on the wall or any decor. I can't wait to see this in the new space once it's like decorated, but I just think it looks beautiful already. So thank you for all those suggestions. I really never even thought about it or it didn't cross my mind. Um, thanks again to Jaws for sponsoring today's video. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, incredible, blessed week, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.